Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading, Gemini, and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for April 2021 for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, overarching energy or message, please. Thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Three of Wands, like that energy, Gemini. Okay. Message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. That flew out. <laughs> so I love the energy here, Gemini. You see this, this kind of divine energy watching over these, this person. There's definitely this energy of trust you are being guided or trust that something is coming your way. Um, you're being watched over, guided, very beautiful. So I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that. The, the messages may well overlap. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Gemini, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, there we have it. The first two cards out. Okay, so... Well, it's interesting, I've got the Ten of Pentacles there, and I've got the Devil, wow. King of Wands. Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Okay, can we clarify these cards? Go deep into the message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides for April 2021. Let's clarify the cards on the table. Thank you. clarify the cards on the table for Gemini thank you okay two cards oh wow wow Gemini my goodness oh my goodness okay there you are king of wands with the lovers page of wands wow the emperor and Two of Pentacles, <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness, Gemini, talk about extremes in this reading. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, well, let's get stuck into it. I mean, it is, it's a lovely reading, or it certainly ends that way. We have the Three of Wands here, Gemini. First signs of success coming your way. Not quite there yet, but it's coming. What you've been manifesting, what you've been working towards. This is somebody who is taking their power back in a situation and going for it. And there's a determined energy, a refusal to be put down, you know, to be defeated with the Three of Wands. I definitely feel in this energy, you know, it, it, something good's coming your way. You're waiting to see the reward of your effort. You might be waiting for news. You might be waiting to hear something at some point in April. But I definitely feel for some of you, the message is trust. It's coming your way. And I definitely see that in the cards. So lovely energy. It, it feels to do with, I'm getting more money career finances here. Um, yeah. Because there has definitely been some kind of, uh, I want to say some financial loss that has dominated your energy or financial change for the worse. 
and it definitely feels like it's dominated your energy for a period of time i mean the devil is when we feel when we feel powerless when we feel things are beyond our control and the cards are saying you feel that, that the things are beyond your control um there's a powerlessness to break free no matter how much you try no matter how much effort you put into something it just doesn't you don't seem to be able to escape this shadow this negative energy this feeling of trying to break free of some kind of bubble that you're finding yourself in um it feels to do with money career finances i have to say the devil can be when we're dealing with our own demons you know it can be our own internal energy um you know you can lose yourself very easily in the devil feel powerless um certainly with the pandemic going on as well some of you might be affected by that too this feeling of being powerless um the, this can also be uh, to do with toxic relationships so you know something could have happened here it could have been with a, some kind of work relationship here as well you know the devil can be a person so some of you may have experienced some challenges in terms of work career finance on that front too i definitely feel in this energy gemini yeah i definitely feel this challenge it's interesting because uh yeah you're trying to break free of those chains i'm seeing that here you're trying to break free of those chains and why am i saying that this is your card the lovers and we have you the lovers here and the devil pulling the strings so there's definitely this energy here of someone trying to break free of a situation that they're working they want to bring growth and the message is it's going to happen um but there's been a challenge here however things happen when they're meant to happen and the opportunity is coming your way you know the ace of pentacles can be moving relocating it can also be to do with um money career financial opportunity being offered to you a new beginning and again, that wheel of fortune is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. You know, things turn, the, the wheel turns from your effort and energy that you've been putting into something. There is the reward coming your way. There will be this reciprocal energy from the universe giving you the reward. And that's what you're being told to say. There's a trust here. Trust is going to happen. And this is the helping hand, the gift from the universe. So the message is it's coming. Um, but it happens that there's a feeling of powerlessness. We have good luck, good fortune coming your way. The tables are going to turn. Now, equally, if you have been dealing with somebody who has somebody in terms of business, career, finances, who hasn't been particularly nice, you know, it might well be the tables turn on them as well. You know, there's a karmic energy here. So we have the King of Wands and the Lovers here, Gemini. This is your energy. So there's definitely, it feels, on the one hand, the King of Wands could be you back in your power. I mean, you know, the King of Wands can also be a leader offering you some kind of opportunity here. It feels in this instance, I mean, I'm seeing the communication aspect of this as well. Because again, with the lovers, free of the chains, it feels this is the opportunity, the window of opportunity that you're being given here. That's offered by some kind of charismatic, go-getting, successful leader. Um, you might be meeting one or two people. Um, it might well be there's a series of, of interviews or discussions to do with an opportunity. That could be in terms of, you know, this could be business, starting your own business. This could be in terms of a job opportunity where you have to go through a series of interviews because it's almost kind of like you meet the, the head and then you meet the top person, you know. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here for some of you. But this can also be you taking the lead, taking action, going for what you want now. Some of you may well have 
be going for something within a large organization, lots of tiers, lots of structure. Again, that's why I'm thinking that you might be meeting one or two people, male or female energy. But there is definitely uh, some good news coming your way because we have the Page of Wands with the Emperor. Again, somebody in authority, somebody in charge. You could be meeting an Emperor. Uh, the Emperor is Aries. King of Wands is Leo. We have Capricorn here, Gemini. Um, so for some of you, you could be meeting an Emperor, somebody who is head of, he would generally be a head of a company. Um, but it feels also what this is saying to you, Gemini, that this is something, an opportunity, uh, a door is opening, some communication happening here with regard to some kind of opportunity coming your way. And it's exciting. You know, that wand is sprouting, it's growing. We have the barren land here and then all of a sudden we see life, you know, we see growth, you know. So I'm definitely getting this energy here of of something putting you back in your power. The Emperor is about power. Somebody who takes control. And it feels this is your opportunity to reconnect to your power, to be back on your throne, to be in control here. Because we have the devil, which is an illusion. We give power to the devil. The devil doesn't really have power unless we give it. But the Emperor is somebody who is in their power. So the complete opposite of what the devil represents. So this is what I'm saying. There is a powerful turning point happening for you in terms of some kind of opportunity presenting itself. And like I said, it might well be some consideration in terms of moving, relocating, even off overseas opportunities here. Um, it's not limited to that, obviously. It could be some distance energy here. Um, but I definitely get this energy here, Gemini, of some kind of powerful opportunity coming your way. But it's almost kind of like you're being told with that Wheel of Fortune as well, the obstacles are going to be removed, you know, the barrier, the obstacle, what stopped you from moving forward before is being removed. And it's divine timing orchestration because you're being shown the love. You're being shown the love. The Ace of Cups is the happiness, the emotional rebirth. Yeah. And the Two of Pentacles is, it definitely feels in this energy here that there is a period of adapting. There's the opportunity that's presenting itself and then you're needing to, to adapt for that opportunity. And again, like I said, there could be some changes that you need to make or some adjustments that you need to make here, Gemini, in your life. It could be in terms of how you travel or uh, the work that's required or uh, the, the equipment you need, I mean, call it what you will, you, you understand what I'm saying. It, it feels like there's a period of adaptment here, priorities, getting a lot on your plate, getting ready for some kind of opportunity because the Ace of, the Ace of Cups is the offer. Uh, it's divine love as well. You're being shown the love, you know. Um, this is an opportunity that brings you great happiness. Now, yes, Gemini, this can be you, finding happiness again, feeling happy in your own skin, in your own light, feels very beautiful. Yes, this can link with new love as well, um, but it can also link with creative opportunities or opportunities that are absolutely close to your heart. And it feels very much to do with what this page of wands is bringing in. Because you're getting your heart's desire, your wish coming true. I'm definitely getting this kind of energy here, Gemini, of, yeah, it just feels very, very beautiful here. The Nine of Cups is the wish coming true. So something good coming your way, first signs of success coming your way, resulting in a personal achievement, being exactly where you've been aligned to be by the universe. This is a card of alignment. It's a card of, you know, achievement as well. We have trophies on a trophy shelf. So there is some level of achievement here, reason to be thankful, and also a celebratory energy. Um, it feels like there's a powerful turning point here, Gemini, I have to say. Very beautiful indeed. 
So yeah, I'm going to pull one more card. Any other advice for Gemini, please? Any other advice for Gemini, please? Yeah, victory, success. The chariot is overcoming obstacles and claiming some kind of victory, success. Eyes on the prize that focused intention towards where you're going and leaving something difficult behind. They're not interested in what's gone the chariot, they're only interested in what's ahead. So again, a sign of success, achievement, put, taking the reins of your life and going for something now. The straight line towards success. So it's a lovely energy, it feels a lovely reading. Okay, so we have Bear, you are the light. It is, it is safe to step fully into your light. Yeah, it's beautiful. I feel that's what you're doing here, Gemini. Yeah, beautiful reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.